All right, ladies and gentlemen, here I am backstage, Hex Flight Series 27 Melbourne Pavilion. Mate, I am uh, standing now at Dalla Biata, the interim Hex Featherweight Champion. First of all, how does it feel to finally get a belt around your waist? It feels absolutely great. It's just like um, the hard work ha uh, has paid off and it wasn't like gone to waste. And I'm glad it was gone, like it didn't go to waste. Now the grappling, uh, Sam was on your back. I mean, I don't have the official control time, but if it was five to seven to nine minutes, it was a long fucking time of him being on your back. How did you get on top? How did you, how did you fight through and then obviously end up doing the display that you did? I end up in those positions all the time in training, so like I'm so used to it. I'm, I, I try to stay calm as much as I can, and um, just to like stay composed. And then, if they're not like really doing any what's called like damages, I'm not in danger. But like if they just got, got my back and they're doing nothing, that means I, I broke them and they don't want anything to do with me on the feet. Was there any bit of you that thought, "Fuck, I might be losing this fight"? No. Not even Absolutely. in the grappling? Absolutely not. Like, even when he got me on that whisk, like, you know, um, that's a mission. I was still like, I was like, nah. How tired like, was it? Very tired. I was seeing stars, man. Oh, yeah? I was seeing stars. I was like, damn. You know? I thought I was in the galaxy or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, mate, you, you ended up battling through. I mean, your conditioning showed through and, and your heart. Uh, obviously, you got those elbows through. You cut him up pretty good. When you saw blood, is that, does that inspire you on? Absolutely. Absolutely, because I was like, yep, I definitely broke him because he, di he didn't like getting hit. He didn't want to, he didn't want anything to do with me when I cut him up. He was like, oh my God, blood. He saw blood and he started panicking. And I could tell by his body language when he was like grappling me. Yeah, you really are like, like the Sudanese sniper, the way you just fi you find a way to put it through. And uh, I mean, how much of your percentage of power are you putting into those shots that are landing? 40. That's it, 40. It's just like... Um, my coaches was like just 30 percent of just like accuracy and just speed don't put any power into it and then everything would just happen like um i think i knocked him down a couple of times with like it's straight punches and stuff but like they always tell me 30 percent now mate you, you took the belt uh while the official hex featherweight champion was was in his teammates corner khan offley you yeah. also had sitting cage side was as you call him justin van villain who actually i spoke to earlier and said hey look we could have fought but you ran from it what a how does it feel to take the belt from uh from a teammate of khan offley and what do you have to say for justin van Heerden, who i believe was heckling you cage side um, I could I could see him, but like he wasn't he wasn't talking mad shit. When I, every time I look at him, he was like putting his head down. So I don't know I don't know I, I didn't hear shit. But um, yeah, like taking taking the belt from his teammate from Khan Offley, like yeah, he, we the time is gonna come, you know, for the real belt, you know, and that's when. That's when um, you're going to see the true, true, true of Dalabia. And now finally, I asked you at the press conference, you didn't want to talk about it because you wanted to take care of this fight. But if you had to pick Khan Offley, Justin Van Heerden, who do you want next? Either one. They're from, I know like every, whatever fight that, that comes up is going to be hard. So I have to train harder. So yeah, in my end, it's kind of, I'm not really looking forward to it, but you know, I got to do it if I want to be the best. So. And uh, is your head coach, Steve Kennedy, happy with your performance? I don't know. <laughs> he's special. He's special. That's what he's telling you, man. I mean, you walked into that gym, you didn't know a lick of martial arts. You're now a kick-ass MMA champion. How does it feel? 2021, your first professional bout. 21. How does it feel to now be a champion? feels good but like it's just all these guys that i'm fighting that have like way ex more experience than me but they don't have one thing that like you know that i have that's a dog in me man i've been fighting since i was a kid you know what i mean I'm back in at home man like you know i'm african for a reason bro like we we do this bro this is fucking natural my congratulations of della viata interim featherweight champion i'm so happy for you appreciate it <laughs> yo who ate the chicken like? <laughs> Look at the disrespect he's, the not, like, he's not happy with the chicken. <laughs> <laughs>